Our next caller is Brenda from Michigan. Brenda, how can we help you? Hi. Uh, so, going to try to keep it short. Um, I just had a baby about seven months ago, uh, but I am in the military, and thankfully they, they changed the, the standards that we now have a year to get back to where we were. It used to be six months. Um, I'm just struggling a bit. I kind of lost all of my strength, all of my endurance, everything I worked hard for. Um, so I'm starting back from zero and I'm trying to do everything at once, which is lose the weight, get my pull-ups up and get my run time down. And it's just a lot, um, in like, I have five months left. So I was just hoping I could get some advice on how I, I don't want to push it. Cause my issue is I'll push it and then I'll just quit. Cause my body, my body breaks down. Like it gets tired. Um, obviously. Um, and that, that's just kind of what I'm struggling with is how to do it all at once without breaking down. Okay. Like, uh, well, yeah. Brenda, are you, um, are you breastfeeding at the moment uh, with your, with your mm, still or are you done? Not anymore. Okay. Not anymore. No. All right. That's good. Cause uh, it gets a little more challenging when we're talking about yeah. uh, fat loss while breastfeeding. Well, here's the good news. Uh, losing weight might make it harder to get a, a heavier deadlift or a squat, but it actually makes pull-ups and running faster, easier. So right. all, all of your goals don't actually conflict. They actually help each other out a little bit. The weight loss okay. is going to come from diet. I don't want you to try to exercise the weight loss because that's going to be a losing. Okay. That's going to be a totally losing approach. Now, as far as getting better at all of those things that you're doing, you want to do the minimal amount of work to see results because then you can move from there. So what you don't want to do is do as much as you possibly can and see if you can recover from it, but rather do enough to get the improvement to start happening. And then once you start to see the improvement and it starts to happen, you feel good, then you can add a little bit more. So my next question is, what does your routine look like now? Um, so right now I work out about five days a week. Um, that That's pretty much the most I can do. I, I try to fit in a sixth or seventh in there, but it's just not practical with the baby. Um, I'm kind of alone right now. My husband, um, work somewhere else. Uh, so I work, I work out five days a week for about an hour. I do, uh, weightlifting every day, all those five days. And then I do some form of cardio for 15 minutes. Um, I try not to run that often because I, I, I know, uh, my body and I've had two knee surgeries before. So I try to limit my running and I've been doing the rower. So Pretty much, that's 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 where I'm at. Okay. Well, don't forget. I think because you have this written up here, so I want the audience to hear this. The you you need to be able to do three miles sub thirty minutes. You need to also be able to do a minimum of three pull ups, and then you also need to be able to do a a minute ten plank. Uh, Correct. Okay, so. To, this is important because this is you. You obviously have to. You, you, the way where you're getting back in shape is being measured is by these things, correct? There's nothing else that you have to do physically to prove that you're back in the shape. Correct, and those are all the minimums. So, as obviously, I, I'd like to do more than that because that's your baseline score, um, which isn't very good score. Right. Well, so since you, yeah, since you have something very specific like this, we should build your training routine geared around that. So, it, but that doesn't mean that you should be like, for example, the, the three mile, 30 minute run. I definitely wouldn't have you do that every day or even three times a week. I'd have one day a week where you're challenging that. And then maybe uh, shorter bouts, uh, maybe two other times in the week, but you definitely want to build your routine around the pull-ups, the planks and this ability to run. So, I don't know if I would want you to not run whatsoever because you're going to be challenged that way. Yes, rowing will give you some cardio endurance and and help some carry over to that, but you could take right. we've talked about this before. You could take somebody who is an incredible swimmer and someone and they've been swimming their whole life and you can have somebody who's an incredible runner, you flip-flop them and they would be they wouldn't perform as well even though they both have great cardiovascular endurance just because they, their body has not adapted to that specific modality. So, uh, we do, and I think five days of weight training is a lot. Um, I think mm -hmm. you could get a lot done in two to three days of lifting, and then the rest of the time and focus, I would be put around these three skills. Yeah, that you pr need practice to those things. How many pull-ups can you do now? 
Uh, I'm at one now. Okay. So, so do the, do do you have space in your in your home for a pull up bar? Uh, yes. Okay. So get put the pull up bar up. Get a resistance band, tie it around the pull up bar, so you can use it to give you assistance. And I would practice one pull up. I don't know, five times a day throughout the day where you step on the band so it helps you. So it's not like a hard one pull up. It's kind of a moderate one pull up. And you just practice that throughout the day. Planks, how long can you plank for now? I'm at a minute 25 right now. Oh, so you already beat that, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you if you want, you could practice that same way, 30 seconds. So you do like a 30 second plank a few times a day. Uh, those two things right there will get way better just from doing that practice. The run, okay. I think Adam gave you great advice. You mm -hmm. could practice once a week for the three mile run, and then do a, a couple shorter runs, and then maybe okay. one or two days a week of, of full body traditional resistance training. And on those days, you don't need to do the practicing of the pull ups and the and the plank. Those days is just uh, the resistance training, and and I think you'll see some pretty rapid results that way. Yeah, I mean, I agree with the the, the protocol they're presenting in, in terms of like also keeping because that is like a specific goal you need to consider. But you know, trying to kind of ease ease up on trying to take every tackle everything at once, uh, especially in the beginning, uh, really just focusing on your strength training two to three times a week, you know, is, is the major focus there is to get your body back in strong and resilient. Uh, you know, the the cardiovascular adaptation is going to come naturally uh, as you start to kind of ramp it up there towards your five month sort of goal there. So I would I would definitely uh, try to taper that in the beginning and start you know adding to that in terms of intensity uh, and 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 then go from there. But really the strength should be the focus. And like Sal said, with having a, a pull up bar there, just continually practice that as as frequently as possible. Yeah, you're not you're not training it, or you're practicing it. You just you go you just hop up on the pull up bar when you walk by put the strap in your foot do one and it's like moderately hard if you if you wanted to you could probably do five that's it and then you just get down and then just just practice it and you'll see the strength will go up very quickly with that particular movement. and to be more specific with the running since you mentioned that that you've you felt your body break down before part of why you probably feel that way is trying to run three miles or more as fast as you can in addition to strength training four to five times a week if you pull back on the weight training so you're not pushing so hard there and you also scale back on the the distance that you're running i think a lot so it would for me it would look something like this if i was coaching you you would do uh one to two days or just mile runs when we do the mile run we're trying to obviously uh, improve your time every time that you do mm -hmm. that one time a week you would do a mile and a half also trying to continually improve that mile and a half time week over week. And then the only one day a week would we actually test at the max t uh, distance, which would be the three miles. And then you're trying to slowly improve that. And that's all I would need you to do. And you would be surprised how, how fast your body would acclimate to that and get good at it. And then the practicing, like the guy said, with training. But if you're if you are feeling like your body is breaking down, that's your a clear indication. You're just you're overdoing it. You don't need to do that. There much. is like a, a program that's somewhat similar. We don't really highlight very often, which is our OCR program. Uh, it does you know focus specifically on grip training, but also pull ups and distance running. And so there is a bit of a protocol in there uh, to try and like meet this timed run. Um, but so that's something too. If it's not it's not as quite as specific as like what you need in terms of like what what your stand standards are, but it would be something complimentary to that. For yeah. Sure. It's, it's pretty intense though. I, I would definitely work up to yeah, it. Yeah. Work up to yeah. that. You know what, Brenda, do you have prime maps prime pro? I, I don't. All right. We'll send that to you because you talked about your knees hurting you. You probably have some mobility issues in your hips or ankles that can help fix that particular issue so that you could start running. So we'll send that over to you. Okay. And you know what, Justin, Thank Justin, you. Justin mentioned OCR. We'll send that to you as well. I wouldn't jump into that though until you're okay. you're yeah, feeling you good and strong, tests, yeah. Yeah. or just peel, just pull out a, a, a one day out of it. Right? Yeah, you, you, can, don't, yeah. you don't you don't need That's to follow true. the whole pro protocol. I, I, I know we're Justin. It. Yeah, Justin is is uh, alluding to that because of the uh, pull ups that we we the programmed running. in there and the running. So Ooh. I would I would look at that as far as the programming and how we set that up, right? And use some of that guidance, and then maybe one day a week you can follow one of the foundational uh, training days in there, and that will benefit you but uh, I, I wouldn't actually to sal's point follow the whole program to a t because it's a little bit more than what you you probably need right now but you could probably get some value from it so we'll send that to you too thank you very much thank you thanks brenda you know it's a, this is a common theme obviously but it's so how many times have you guys experienced this you do less 
you get better <laughs> results. The results finally come. Yeah, and yeah, it's always every I time know. that happens to him, I'm always like, ah, obviously, right? Yeah. But it's such a hard switch to make mentally because usually it doesn't compute. Yeah, well, usually doing work more and works. working harder equals better. Yeah, right. It's usually not the opposite, uh, but in in often in many cases, especially with people who like Brenda who are working so hard and you have a specific goal, oftentimes that's what needs to happen. You need well, to back spe- off a little bit. Especially when you're, you know, she's weight training five days a week and then also running. So they're, much. They're so conflicting, yeah. yep. you yeah. know. So uh, she'd be far better off doing mobility three, four days a week and only strength training once and then focusing on the run if she wants to get good at the run. But the reason why she feels the body breaking down all the time is she's probably sore and tight and immobile from all the strength training mm-hmm. and not addressing mobility. And then she goes out and goes for a run for three mm-hmm. miles or like that. And the body just says, F you, that doesn't feel good. And so then it probably sets her back. So there's definitely a way to scale up to this to be able to do all that. Got to consider the recovery process. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.